Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and today's video is actually by special request. She wanted advice on how to become more confident with herself. She mentioned um, wanting to become a bad bitch and I just want to start right there and I want us to stray away from the term bad bitch and start focusing more on the divine feminine. Now, for those of you ladies that don't know what the Divine Feminine is, the Divine Feminine is the feminine aspect of the Divine Power that connects and binds the Earth together. In other words, it is the Goddess energy that lives within all of us, which means we are God and Goddesses. Now, what consists of the Divine Power is energy, frequency, vibrations, mindset, habits, self-love, self-care, self-awareness, boundaries. These are all of the things that fall underneath that divine power. And as I said before, the state of your mind matters. So if you're running in low vibration, low frequencies, that's what your outlook on life is going to be. You're going to be insecure. You're going to be down about life. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be anxious. You're going to be worried because your inner world is reflecting on your outer world. And this is why I said it all starts with the mind because that is the first step to becoming into your divine power. When you get control of your mind, you are very mindful about what you're absorbing, what comes through your receptors every day. You have to be mindful of what you latch onto and what you let go of. That essentially will become yourself. And that's why I said it's very important to get control over your mind. I'm gonna say it a thousand times. Start with your mind. Your mind is the foundation and it's something you want to water, it's something you want to nurture to watch it grow. You tend to it and watch how it starts to flourish. In my previous videos, you want to start implementing healthy habits. You want to keep those little promises to yourself. You want to start looking after yourself. This is going to help you transcend into a higher vibration where things are more positive, you worry less, you go about life with ease, you start to believe in yourself, you start to walk in confidence, and once you work on that inner world, then your outer world becomes honestly whatever you wanna make it. You can make your dreams a reality. It's just you have to believe in yourself and you have to put in that work. Once you flip the script to that mind where the work doesn't seem daunting, so when you're in that low frequency, you don't necessarily look forward to all this work you have to put in because it seems exhausting. You don't have time for it. You make excuses. But once you raise into that higher frequency, you start to walk more with a purpose. Another way to start getting into this mindset is build your idea of her. Who is your her or what does your her look like? Is she somebody that is structured? Does she have time management? Does she keep the promises to herself? Does she stay disciplined to make sure she's achieving and doing what she needs to do to get to the next level? Is she keeping up after herself? Is she rewarding herself for the little things? Is she compassionate with herself? How is her mind? Is she respecting her body? What is your idea of her? And start working for her. Honestly, that's the, imagine your her is your CEO and you're her employee and you're working for her. Anything she tells you to do, you go do it. Keep that mindset, you keep your eye on that person you're trying to become and never give up on yourself, you'll be there in no time before you even know it. And next thing you know, you're stuck. You've made it to the other side to where everything is second nature. So essentially the war with your mind is over. I know we get stuck on each side when you try to think positive, but you get sucked back into the negative. But eventually, if you keep putting in that work, you will fully commit to the positive side and you will no longer have that fight inside your head anymore. Now, I know this can get some controversy, but at the end of the day, remember, just be who you wanna be. It doesn't matter if somebody has a different version of their, her, or him, vice versa. We're all different, we all have different visions. We're not meant to be alike and that what makes us unique. But my version of her has a lot of class and elegance to her. How is she dressing? How is she presenting herself? How is she carrying herself? Those are my ideas of my her. She's 
working towards her full potential. She's tapping back into her creativity. She's doing what she wants to do. That's my idea of her, and that is who I'm becoming. Now, your her or your him could look completely different, and that's okay. That is totally fine. We do not have to have that same vision. Again, that's what makes us unique. But as long as we're all walking in our own individual paths, we'll be working on the most highest frequency. And imagine if everybody did that. Imagine if the world worked like that. But I know that's wishful thinking, but who this video reaches, I can help get them to that point. Us females, we actually have a lot of power. We are the prize and don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Once we realize how powerful we are and how we don't let you know, people play with us, we don't tolerate disrespect, we don't tolerate name calling. Once we all realize that, my theory is that men will start getting their, their themselves together as far as actually working for our love like they should be doing. Just look at the way nature is with birds. The bird is doing some fancy mating call for the woman, you know, trying to get her attention, trying to get her love, her approval. That's what we need to be doing too. But a lot of women don't realize that, but it's okay, I've been there too, I've been there. But again, you can flip that mindset where you can start demanding um, what it is that you actually want. It's creating those boundaries. If you're not being treated the way you want to be treated, um, you know, cutting it quick, off, moving on. You know, not playing with ourselves anymore because we understand the power that we hold and we hold ourselves to such a high value, then they may want to become the men they're supposed to be. <sighs> I'm so nervous about talking about this because I know in today's society, but I just hope it gets to the right people that understand. Moving on. What it takes to be a goddess and God is again, just walking in your higher frequency, envisioning that person that you look up to, walking in your path each and every day, um, exploring in your own creativity, putting out in this world, putting out that uniqueness. So if you wanna start going to the gym and that's your version of your higher self, a more fit, more athletic person, respect yourself and go to the gym and accomplish those goals that you want to accomplish because at the end of the day, that's gonna start building your confidence to become any and everything you could ever imagine yourself to be. If there's something you've been putting off for a very long time, like I have with YouTube, stop robbing yourself of time and just do it. Look at it as a journey, it's growth. Don't look at the end goal. You know what you want, you know it's gonna come, but just enjoy things as it is. Like me, I'm literally celebrating each subscriber I get. Each subscriber, just one by one by one, I'm celebrating those tiny wins for myself and just looking at it like I'm growing little by little by little, but I'm growing and it's amazing to watch. It's like I planted that seed and I'm watching it grow. And that's why they said, you know, you plant the seed, you watch it grow, but when you plant that seed, you're not gonna get fruit right away. It has to go through different phases, different cycles. It's a journey. And then you will get to eat the fruits one day. But just knowing you're producing, you're putting out, you're doing the things that you wanna do, each day you're living your life to the fullest. It makes life worth living. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you take my advice because if it's one thing I wish I did when I was younger was take my own advice because I was always good, great at giving advice, but I never took it myself and I realized that I could probably be further along by now, but again, I'm here, I'm showing up, I'm getting there, I'm enjoying my journey and that's just the way you have to view life. Once you get here, it's amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If there's any other topics you guys would like me to speak on, I'd be happy to do so. And subscribe to my channel. Bye guys. Mwah.